If you've ever tried to drill a scrap piece of metal like a piece of angle iron from a bed frame, you know that this can be quite difficult. It can burn the drill right out that you're using. A regular toast drill sometimes can't handle this. Carbide drills can, but carbide drills are expensive. Now the carbide drills that are designed for doing concrete aren't that expensive and can be altered so that they will work to cut metal. And we're going to watch right now and see uh, that it can be done and it works quite well. Here are the two drills side by side. The cement drill that's right out of the box and the older drill that has been used but I have resharpened. The drill that I have under the camera right now is a cement drill right out of the box and we're going to rotate it so we can take a look at those cutting edges which are not very good they're actually rounded and almost dull looking and the same for this edge here it's uh, it's not sharp at all this didn't even get ground here on the relief edge of that here's the cutting edge and here's the relief edge now we're going to take a look at another one that I have doctored up by hand on a carbide uh, grinding wheel. You can see the edge, the cutting edge on the outside is now sharp. This edge is fully ground with a relief, a relatively sharp edge. We'll rotate and take a look at the other side. This edge is sharp. Now I have been using this and it's got a little bit of a chip out of it, but uh, that can be ground out. Again, we have the, the relief edge and the cutting edge here that look much better than the other out of the box drill. So with the drill sharpened like this one, you can actually cut metal with it instead of concrete or concrete also if you like. We've got two cement drills here. This one is right out of the box and although these calipers are not that wonderfully accurate, I mean as far as two of thousands, but uh, we're going to measure them with the caliper so that you can see the readout. Okay, that is 338.39 thousandths of an inch. It's supposed to be a 5 16 It's labeled 5 16 I don't know if that is going to show up for you, but it says 5 16 So that's considerably larger than 5 16 Now this one here is also labeled 5 16 And it was somewhat oversized, but I ground it down on the sides. And this one is 3 12 and a half. That's what it's supposed to be, 5 16 so it was too big also and we're going to compare these two drills and we're going to try drilling some holes with them and we'll head it over right now to do that now we're going to try to make these cement drills drill some metal and the one we're looking at right now is the right out of the box one i haven't done anything to it let's see if we can drill through this quarter inch piece of relatively soft metal We made a little mark here. I think the drill's slipping into the truck a little bit. Really pushing now. Really heaving on this. And it's starting to cut. It's pretty slow going here. It's coming off in chunks. Pretty hard to do. And we know it's going to drill oversized anyway because we already measured it and it the drill itself is oversized. So we'll swap this drill out now for the one that I have reworked and resharpened. That in the chuck. Move over a little bit here. 
and we'll check this one out. Now we need to tighten that chuck up just a little bit and get it quite tight enough. Definitely cutting better than the other one. And we're all the way through with that one. So now let's have a look at these holes and uh, see what we've got. We've got a 5 16 dowel pin. Here's the hole we uh, cut with the doctor drill. Let's see if that fits. That fits pretty good. Take that out of there. This one here is really sloppy. I know we didn't go all the way through with that, but it wasn't cutting well and it is definitely oversized. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.